Hey guys, welcome to Cards and Sharps. How y'all doing? Good, good. Glad to hear it. All right, not nothing overly exciting this, today. We got uh, just some top retail stuff. Uh, just uh, felt like opening some cards and thought I'd grab some and uh, open them, see what we can come up with. You've seen a lot of this product already this year. Uh, not a whole lot more coming out. It does not seem so uh, for a while. So we're kind of got what we got. Ready for some baseball to start. Ready for some more cards to come out. What we have here is we have a couple of retail fat packs, I guess you'd call them, and then we got a blaster Gypsy Queen. Alright, let's save the Gypsy Queen for last, and see what we can get in these uh, top uh, fat packs. I actually have done pretty good with these. I have not opened them, but I've opened a lot of uh, blasters, a lot of uh, tins, but I actually have done really well on the couple of fat packs I've opened, I did pull in a Frank Thomas auto out of one, so hopefully we can get lucky again. Not going to spend much time unless we see something really worth mentioning. Because we want to get mainly get to the, the middle there where all the good stuff is. You can see we got some good star players early on here. And typical top, they like to make yourself dizzy, rotating the stack around. There's a guy that I hope does wonderful things because I have probably pulled about 30 of his cards so far this year. And that is Travis Demerit, rookie. Alright, we got Miguel Cabrera. Chrome Turkey Red. All right, wasn't. Don't believe you're guaranteed the Chrome Turkey Reds out of the packs. Uh, typically, get them out of the blasters, and I do have a pretty good bunch of them at this point. All right, we got Hoskins and number two. I am looking for card number seven. That's one I got left to complete my first set. I've got. And about three or four cards short of a second set. That gives you an idea of how much uh, top retail I've pulled this year. All right, we got a Luis Severino 85 tops look. And we get into the Turkey Reds. We got a Lizardo rookie. Not bad. And a Keystone Hira. Also not a bad one to get. All right, back to base cards. Let's see if we get any... Maybe we get a short print or Independence Day or something special like that. Which those are probably going to be typically be in the middle too. So now we're just looking for some to add to our rookie collection. And there's a rookie pitcher. Alright, nothing, nothing too extreme out of that. Did get the uh, did get a uh, chrome turkey red, which we really like to get those. Because I do like the turkey reds. I think they're pretty cool. And we got the security tag out of that. All right, pack number two. Let's see what we get. There's a bichette. Add to our Bichette collection. I have I counted the other day. I'm up to I think 22. So that would be Bichette number 23. They also one thing I have not caught this year is the uh, any of the ones with the the advanced stats on the back with all like the sabermetric stuff and all that um, 
probably I've got a couple of boxes of base that I have not even looked at uh, for that sort of thing. I you know I've scanned everything for goads and and uh, Independence Day and those those kind of things and uh, short print you know picture variations things like that. But I have not really looked at all the backs to see if I managed to get any of the. Uh, advanced stats. Got a couple of Turkey Red, Aaron Nola, and, and Charlie Morton. And we're back to the base. Got a Kino rookie. That's a good one. Have not pulled near as many of his as I have the uh, Bichette and Lux and, and those guys. But I have a few, uh, probably more like about a half dozen or so. But so not near as many as I have of the of the really big names. But and that's it for the fat packs tops. Nothing too too great. Uh, you know, some some good rookies. And a few turkey reds, and we did it turkey red chrome, so not too bad. Try not to scratch the box too bad, I don't really know why. Since I can save the box, so. I think it's because these Gypsy Queen boxes just look so cool. Information is you don't want to do too much damage to it. All right, we have looks like seven packs of Gypsy Queen, and then we got the five green parallel cards inside, and we will save those for last. And we will get going on Gypsy Queen. Gypsy Queen got a lot of hidden things to look for. Uh, Looks like you're getting just a lot of base cards, and then you got things to look for like logos, and and then you got your um, bazooka backs and things like that. And we'll take a quick look. There's the Terror of the Diamond. So no bazooka backs in that bunch. We got a Cavan Vigio, Lugo Hanniger, and we got a Javier Baez. Parents of the Diamond, George Springer, and there he is. Springer and the other Astros kind of hurt their value with the cheating stuff going on. Uh, I think eventually them guys are just so good that give it a couple of years, everybody will forget about it, and, and they'll, they'll be back to being pretty popular again. I hope, it, <clears throat> can't tell, it may have hurt. The Alvarez uh, rookie card a little, um, even though he was not involved in that. But right now, people are kind of down on all things Astros, so. Might be a good time to pick his cards up pretty cheap. I know the ones I have that I have tried to sell just don't seem to be fetching the the value that you should from a from a rookie that has the potential he has. There, Mike Schmidt. That might be a short print. I can't remember where the short print start. Uh, that's 307. I think they start at 300, so pretty nice. They've been attendee. A lot, I don't really look too hard at first for the short prints. That gives me something to go back and kind of look look at later. Uh, kind of looking for the hidden gems. And, and then a lot of times you get one and it's not 
anything all that spectacular. And here we have one of those sneaky uh, cards to look for. And this is the uh, alternate loco. It see, it doesn't have the GQ up there. It has got... Not sure what that is. But that is card number one, Mookie Betts. And it's a alternate logo, so we'll have to see if that is worth anything. It's the first one I have noticed that I have pulled this year, so I have not even really uh, looked into them. And speaking of Alvarez, there's Mr. Jordan Alvarez, uh, fortune teller card. All right, nice card to get. Rookie card, fortune teller. That is probably going to be so far probably the better card that out of this uh, break today. And main reason I'm doing a video of it is uh, just. So I can talk to you guys but as I do this uh, it's more fun to, to do this with other pe people and uh, you never know pull something good uh, like like for everybody to see it all right we got Dustin May rookie Dustin May is another rookie I have gotten a many many of this year something looks a little different with that but I think it's just the background he's in front of a screen kind of a screen with the numbers on it there and it kind of made it look like a might have been some kind of there's the Tortuga and there's Carlos Correa all right last pack before we get to the, the parallel pack and we got a Munoz rookie Nola rookie, and that's Austin Nola. I believe he is Aaron Nola's brother. Jimenez, AJ Puck, Devers, and Lambert. We'll, we'll, we'll put Mr. Betts in the highlight seat there while we go through this one. See what we got in the green. We got a Keystone Hira. Nico Horner, rookie. Juan Soto. Pretty nice. A couple of good younger guys with uh, Hira and Soto. In the green, we got a Jeff McNeil, another one. And Dietrich. All right. That is it for this break. Let's see what we got. Just kind of recap some of the better stuff. We got the green Soto, Hira, and McNeil. Rookies. Not a, any of the real great ones. Uh, Puck ain't bad. May's a good one, but Alvarez, uh, Fortune Teller is going to be our better one there. And. Nothing too spectacular out of that. We did get the uh, Mookie Bet short print. And we got a Javier Baez Tarot of the Diamond. Alright, well that is about it for uh, this break. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Give it a like and uh, subscribe if you did. We'll have more stuff uh, as soon as we can round up more good stuff to, to bring your way. Looking for uh, look for us to do some more of the like boombox and uh, and things like that until we get some good new product come out. Uh, hopefully, you've seen a video I just put up lately of some Inception and and we had fun with that. So if you will, just stay tuned and and watch for upcoming stuff and those that you uh, enjoy knives. Uh, Always putting up knife videos as well. Alright, that's all I got. We'll see you guys next time.